Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a few modifications that you can do to your spoon to help you catch more fish. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that I like to do with my spoons when I get them right out of the package. So a lot of times when you buy a spoon, it's gonna come like this and uh, you'll see there's gonna be at least one split ring on there holding the hook on and sometimes there'll be a split ring up here on the top, sometimes there won't be. So um, that's basically what most of the spoons you're gonna buy come with. So we'll take this thing right out of the package here. So there's a couple of things that we can do with this spoon to make it fish a little bit better and uh, to help us land more fish and get less snags. So um, if you're gonna be doing this a lot, doing a lot of modifications to these spoons, a good thing to get is a nice pair of split ring pliers. I will link uh, a nice pair of these down in the description below, but split ring pliers basically have this little tip right here on the end of the plier. You can see that. Um, and that just allows you to get in there to take the hook off. So you want to find the end of that ring, open that up with the pliers, and then you can pop your hook right off. So that right there, we're going to get rid of. And we're going to bring in a little bit different hook here. We're going to rig this with a single hook. Um, the benefits to having a single hook are you're going to get less snags. So if you're fishing, you know, an area where there's a lot of structure around, logs, grass, um, rocks, anything like that that you can get hooked up on, the single hook is going to snag far less. Um, even if you're fishing in grassy areas, you can pull that spoon right through the grass and, you know, most of the time you're not going to have anything attached to that hook it kind of just works its way right, way right off and with the treble hooks it always it's it's usually a mess uh, this isn't going to get caught in your net as easily as treble hooks and you know you're not going to spend time trying to dig that out of your net it makes catch and release fishing 10 times easier um, nine times out of ten when that fish is hooked it's right in the corner of the mouth and you can usually see the hook it's exposed that hook is exposed you grab your pliers grab that hook twist it pop it right out and you can release the fish within seconds. Um, so it's uh, not as damaging to the fish and it's easier on the angler as well just trying to get that hook out of the fish's mouth and get that fish you know get a quick picture and then toss it back. Put this on I like to take my spoon um, look at it this way here so it's curved down and I like to put the hook pointing down like this. If you buy the right type of hooks, these are open eye siwash hooks. This is a size four, and that's what I think just fits this spoon the best. You know, you can put whatever you want in there for a hook, but I think that'll fit that spoon just right. And uh, you can see the open eye fits right in there. You don't have to open up the split ring at all. And then you just kind of crimp that down with the pliers. So you can see how we oriented that hook facing down with the curve of the spoon. And a lot of people believe that if you do it that way, the fish will come in, grab the spoon, the spoon will be sort of angled down, and that hook will will then drive down into the fish's mouth and uh, give you better hookup ratios. And uh, I've tested that myself, and I think that is true. Um, I've had better success with the hook facing down like that, following the curve of the spoon. It's pretty easy to remember if you think of it that way. So one thing to do when you're trying to find the right size hook is that you need to make sure that the eye of that hook is going to be much larger than the uh, diameter of this split ring. The next step is we're going to put on a split ring on the top of this spoon. So we've got a split ring here. We use our pliers, start that on there, work it, that ring around the nose of the spoon. So we get our split ring on there. And then what I like to do, add a barrel swivel. And you want to get the smallest swivel that you can that will fit on that uh, split ring. And just like the hook, you want to make sure that that ring has enough room to move around inside of the eye of that swivel. So we're going to put this right on our swivel here, just like that. Uh, you can see there's plenty of room with that split ring to move around, so it's not going to bind up on you. I'll show you what it shouldn't look like. And we get us the same size swivel, but it's a uh, much larger thick it's a thicker gauge split ring and it's pretty tight on there there's really not much room for it to move around you can always just bump up the, your swivel size 
This is a, the ne another size up from this. You can see it's a much larger hole, so pretty easy to do. Just get a variety of hooks and uh, split rings and swivels. So there's our spoon, that's it. Super simple. We just changed out the hook to a single hook and added a swivel on the top. And what the swivel is going to do is uh, it's going to eliminate your line twist. Um, when you use a spoon or a spinner or anything like that, um, especially in current, you're going to get the action of this sort of rolling. And if you're using a spinning rod, especially, you're going to get a lot of line twists and bird's nests when you cast. So just adding the swivel to the spoon itself will make it, uh, will eliminate that for you. And this way you don't have to use a bulky snap swivel that's a little longer, a little bit, a little bit, uh, you know, thicker. And it just, it, it minimizes the overall size of the bait. And I like to go with these small little barrel swivels like this. And, uh, it, you know, this might look small, but I believe this is like an 80 pound breaking strength. So that swivel is never going to fail on you. Um, your line will snap long before that swivel is going to go. So those are just a couple quick mods to do to your spoons to help you catch more fish. And if you guys check out Everett Lures, we have split ring packs and swivel packs that work together so you know they're going to work and fit together right. And you can also buy, uh, we have size 4 and size 6 siwash hooks. And those will fit a spoon this size. That's what I put on here. That's a size 4 hook. Um, but if you want to, uh, all the Everett Lures spoons like these, they already come pre-rigged with swivels on the top and a single hook so if you buy them right from us they're all ready to go you don't have to mess with it but if you have your favorite spoon and you want to customize it a little bit we do have all the stuff to do that all the parts and everything so all right guys thanks for watching get out there catch some fish and we'll catch you guys in the next video